Yo, what up, it's Don. Sam really here. Real Soul Brothers, uh, if you want to buy a basketball shoe and not feel chipped, and actually feel what tech you're working with underneath your foot, here's some shoes for you. Because sometimes you can buy a shoe, it says Zoom, it says React, whatever, you can't feel it. Yes. Drop the money. Um, there's plenty of shoes out there. I don't want to mention any of them. Remember the Kobe AD though? Which With one? That fake Zoom unit on the side. Oh yeah. Yeah, dude. That was crazy. That video got a lot of views too. Yeah, that AD is rough. That's a rough cushion. Yeah, especially with that, you know, crazy ass plastic. Yeah. All uh, caging it in the heel. You yeah. Know? I don't know why they did. That's the original yeah, AD, but... not the new one. Yes, exactly. Um, but yeah, so if you guys want to feel cushion. Here are some of the, the shoes that you should get. Uh, let's Boost, start. bounce, yes. react, zoom. Exactly. So let's start off with Boosty Boost. Uh, Harding Volume 2. Yeah. Uh, very subtle though, not the craziest boost, which I like. I don't like to feel too mushy because boost feels mushy if there's too much of it, especially if it goes uncaged. Um, but yeah, Harding Volume 2, I would say for me, is like the perfect you know, blend of everything uh, in what I want to see from a cushion. Uh, but there is one shoe that you can feel it a little bit more. Like, I would say the crazy like boost. There's a little bit more compression in the fore, uh, in the heel. Um, but the stroke board is a little stiff. So like in forefoot, it's a little bit harder to feel. Uh, it's more responsive in the forefoot, but the hard volume too. It's like a softer stroke board, so you can kind of feel it throughout the entire, you know, like, like underneath your foot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and also there is a BYWX, which I don't know if Adidas is even gonna make anymore. Yeah, they haven't released any BYWXs. I mean, that's the basketball version of the BYW, which I guess you could get that. Um, don't get those yeah, don't get for that. basketball. But the, there's pretty chunky boost underneath there. Yeah. It's decoupled, which is a little weird for me. Yeah, exactly. But it's pretty chunky, especially in the heel. And I would say it's a lot like softer and like has a little bit more of a compression in it than the Harding Volume 2. Yeah. Uh, it feels super nice. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know how you guys are going to get I guess you, I guess you guys can like Go on StockX or something. Uh, yeah, they're probably um, not crazy expensive. But anyways, if you guys want to feel some zoomy zoom, the Kobe AD X it is. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like we don't know what the foam is. So. Yeah, we don't know. But there's a big zoom unit in the back, yeah. and there's a pretty uh, substantial feel in the heel. Yeah, like a nice little bounce. I feel like most of it comes from the the, the, the foam though, right? Yeah, I would I would think so. But yeah. you know, Nike's been known to do that. Just have some phylon, some random phylon that's has a nice compression to yeah. it. Yeah. So I, I don't know, whatever it is, you can feel it, and it's pretty damn nice. It's still not on their site. Yeah. It's everywhere else, but not oh, on really? their site. Yeah, so we don't know what the text is, yeah. you know? Um, but yeah, the heel is pretty crazy, four foot is kind of dead, so uh, there's that. Also, if you want to feel zoom, KD11 0.1 Pro Tro, yeah. Kobe Pro Tro. Full, all full length zoom, all crazy, yeah. uh, bouncy. Um, uh, sometimes a little too much for me, but yeah, yeah, it feels more so like it's right under your foot. Yeah, which is is nice. Um, but yeah. Oh, sorry, we forgot the craziest one though, which is the LeBron sixteen. Yeah. The LeBron sixteen is insane. Yeah, you feel a little high up, but uh, you I'm feel very it. high up. But you feel it. Yeah, you definitely yeah. feel it. Dude. Great impact protection. Um, yeah. You you feel like you can jump jump like out the gym, dude. Yeah. It, that's pretty damn bouncy. So uh, just be careful when you land. Yeah, exactly. Um, if you guys want to feel some React, there is only one shoe that you can really feel React in a basketball shoe, which is the Kobe 360. Still, unfortunately, and you can really feel it because you're yeah. literally right on top of it. Exactly. It's mixed with a little bit of Lunar Lawn, but I mean, you're getting your heels digging in there. Yeah. But it's not a very very thick slab. It's a drop in midsole, so you can bottom out if you land too hard. So yes, watch out for that. Yes. Um, there aren't any other shoes, so very, very sad. I For React, yeah. yeah. They gotta really they, implement that better in some more shoes. Kyrie 5. Yeah. Kyrie 5. With yeah. The or the PG3. Yeah. No, they're not, yeah, probably not. Or the Antetokounmpo's? <laughs> Antetokounmpo's. Uh, he ain't getting React. This guy. Uh, but also, uh, also, if you guys want to feel bounce, bounce cushion from Adidas, which is super nice. The best uh, bounce cushion setup that, that I've we felt recently is Ethereal's Nine. I don't know what it is. I feel like they changed up the compound in it, put a little bit more of something, but like it feels really nice. There's mm -hmm. a soft compression, slight bounce, but it's just like the right amount of bounce for me. And um, it's just amazing. Like all the other bounce shoes, like Dane 4 isn't too crazy. 
Uh, it's still nice, but like not as much as the Dito's nine. No, uh, the but Pro you Bounce, got a little bit in the heel, which is yeah. You can feel it a little bit. Yeah, the yeah. The, the Pro Bounce. Uh, there was that Adidas. Uh, I forget what it was called. Explosive. The one with the explosive bounce or explosive something like that. Bounce, yeah. yeah, Mad Bounce. Mad <laughs> Mad Bounce. All crazy those you bounce. can insane bounce. Crazy insane bounce. Yeah, uh, all of those you can't really feel the bounce as much as the Dito's nine. So uh, if you guys, if you really want a nice like bounce cushion setup, then go with the Dero's nine. Um, but that is about it. Are we forgetting anything? Uh, Air Max, don't get us started there. The, but if you do want to feel some Air Max in the Audacities, is probably your best bet. Or the Dominates, you mean? The the, the Dominates, yeah, yeah. Dominates. But that's only in the heel. There's really no full length Air Max units anymore. I think the LeBron like eight or nine had it. Yeah. But that's probably the only basketball shoe that had a full length Air Max unit, which is interesting. Uh, hover, you can't really feel in anything. Yeah, that hover happy gloves is pretty stiff. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but that's about it. Uh, if you guys really want to feel a nice cushion setup and you really want to feel the cushion that you know the company states that is in the shoe, then you can get either uh, any of these shoes. If you guys want to cop any of these shoes, by the way, if you, uh, we'll leave a link in the description box. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on next. Later.